I'm Tammy from Bakertown Collectibles, and I'm here to tell you today a little bit about Puck magazines, Puck and Judge magazines. Now, these are political magazines that are highly collectible, and we sell a lot of these on our eBay site. I'm going to tell you a little bit about them and why they're collectible. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to have to read a little bit because there's just a lot of information. Um, basically, we'll start here. Um, Puck magazine, it was a weekly magazine. It actually started as a German magazine, and it was published in March of 1871. And then five years later, Puck moved to New York City and it published the first magazine on September 27th, 1876. Um, and oh, and the, the first English edition was in 1877, March 14th. Um, the English magazine actually went on for over 40 years until it was bought by uh, the William Randolph Hearst Company. Um, Puck is very politically sided. It was politically sided with the Bourbon Democrats, and its hero was Grover Cleveland. Um, it favored German Americans and victimized Irish Americans. So you'll get a lot of those types of things in these in these magazines. Um, after Puck went on for a bunch of years, there was also a magazine that came out called Judge. Judge was also a weekly magazine, and it was from 1881 to 1936. And it was formed by artists who actually left Puck magazine. So uh, the founders of that are James Albert Wales, Frank Towsey, and George Jessup. Um, the publisher of the publisher of Puck is uh, the founder of Puck is actually Joseph Kepler. Um, he's the founder of the of the Puck. Um, so I'm just going to show you here. Here's a beautiful cover, and it's called As Others See Us. Now this is this is one of the magazines that we have had up on eBay, and, and we. And it's a similar, similar to a lot of magazines we do have up on eBay. And all these things, they have beautiful, beautiful colors, and then they always have uh, an, an, some kind of a caption that lets you know what the scene, what the scene is about. The neat thing about Puck and Judge magazines is they also have something on the centerfold. Now these are highly collectible. It might be hard to see. It might be hard to see on this camera. I apologize, but this is a two-page spread. Now, when people collect these, sometimes they collect it because they want the whole the whole book and they want it intact. Sometimes people collect them because they just want to lift these out, and these are pretty easy to get out of the magazines and have them framed because they are they're works of art in themselves. And they all also have a beautiful a beautiful image on the back. So, when you're collecting a puff, what should you be looking for? Well, when we try to group them, we do try to group them by artist first. So, if there's Oper or Zimmern or Howarth, those are those are the, the ways we, we try to group them first. After that, we might want to group them by um, election year. So for example, 1880s, 18, 1884, 1888, 92, 96, and so on, because those, um, it's e when you're collecting it from a certain election year, you can expect certain types of political characters. And also, some people would prefer to collect them by politicians, so you might want to collect Brian McKinley, Cleveland, Blaine, um, to a lesser degree, Harrison Garfield and Arthur are still collectible. It really depends what your preference is. So basically, this is, these are just really fantastic, fantastic periodicals, fantastic magazines that, that really, really show in a humorous way. Um, they recount history, and, and they're, they're a great place to put your money. They, they have some intrinsic value, and they're also really, they're very enjoyable. So I hope you find some things that you're looking for. Our eBay site is Bakertown Collectibles. If you ever have anything to sell, you ever, you ever want us to sell a collection for you, give us a call, 516-489-6004, and you could link to our website from our About Me page. Okay, happy bidding. Bye.